My name is Dr. Asha Shah. I'm the Director of Infectious Diseases at Stanford Health. I'm here to discuss some tips about tick season. So usually we start to see more tick bites and exposures starting in about June, and it lasts until the end of summer and into September. There are ways to prevent tick bites. Some of the strategies include wearing um, long sleeve clothing, so uh, or long sleeve shirts and long pants, um, especially if you're going into a heavily wooded area. Um, wearing a hat to protect your scalp is also a good strategy to use. There are over-the-counter insect repellents that can be used to prevent tick bites. Those that contain DEET um, are especially effective. And then finally, another strategy that's been used is actually putting your clothes in a warm dryer and running that for about 15 to 20 minutes to rid of any sort of uh, ticks that could be uh, potentially attached. When you come in from being outdoors, you can do a tick check. So check your entire skin, check your children, um, and even taking a shower after being outdoors for a long period of time can also help to wash off some ticks that may be undetected. Another important prevention strategy is to check your pets when they come indoors for ticks because they can also get Lyme disease and they can also pass those ticks on to other members of the household. If you detect a tick on your body, the first thing to do is to try to determine how big it is and try to determine how long it's been in place. The ticks that transmit Lyme disease are more likely to do so if they are on your body for 36 hours or longer. So if a tick looks big and engorged, that suggests the fact that they've been on your body for a longer period of time. The first thing to do is actually try to, to remove it with a pair of tweezers. And you wanna to try to remove it in its entirety. If you can do that, place it in a cup or Tupperware and save it, it's something that can be submitted to the health department for testing for different types of tick-borne diseases. And then you just want to sterilize that area with an alcohol swab. If you can't remove the tick in its entirety, it's probably best not to try to do so, and you can call your physician and ask to be seen or even present to an urgent care. If you have any questions or concerns about a tick bite or exposure or tick-borne disease, it's important that you reach out to your primary care physician.